In this tutorial, we'll be looking at making a new document for the iPad, adapting designs for both vertical and horizontal layouts, and making a simple layout plan and looking at some design considerations. So to set up a new document for the iPad in InDesign, we just go up to File, New and Document. And by default, the intent will be set to print. What we want to do is scroll down and pick Digital Publishing and this will automatically bring up the page sizes for the iPad for us. If we scroll down here, we can see there are other options for different types of tablet devices, but for now, um, we're just going to concentrate on the iPad. So um, you'll see the height and the width are there in pixels, so that's uh, 1024 by 768 pixels for an iPad. So we just click OK, and that's our document set up for the horizontal view. If you want your publication to read vertically and horizontally, then you'll have to design two separate layouts, one for the vertical and one for the horizontal. OK, so um, I've got my cover designed for the horizontal view um, and the layout's designed now with all the content for the cover in place. So I now need to make a vertical version of this and adjust the content accordingly. So if I go to uh, Liquid Layouts and um, click on um, my original, and on this occasion you've got various different options to pick on. On this occasion I'm going to ask it to recenter the content into the vertical version, So um, because I pretty much know that the sizes are more or less okay, I might just need to adjust it slightly and um, obviously adjust the image so it will fit into a vertical view. So that's um, recenter I'm going to pick. So and then if we go up to the pages option at the top here, you see this tiny little arrow, if we just scroll down and ask it to create alternative layout. So what InDesign does, it's um, because my original one, my original layout was a horizontal layout for iPad, it's assumed that my alternative layout would be an iPad vertical, which is great, and it's also put the correct um, width and height in and dimensions in pixels, so that's great. So then I just click OK, and you can see here that it's created a, a vertical version of, of my layout. So if I click on there now, I can just see the adjustments um, that I need to make. So I can make those quite quickly, so all the content is over, I can just pull that up to the top maybe. might want to shift this down slightly. Um, my, um, my image in the background, I probably just want to extend so I can see a bit more of the image. Maybe pull that down a bit and extend this up to the top. So yeah, so that's great. So that's a really quick and simple, easy way to, to create um, of a vertical layout based on the horizontal layout. I like to make a simple plan of both the horizontal and the vertical views and I draw um, simple boxes to indicate where the content might go and this way I can see whether the content will fit correctly or if, any, if anything needs changing and it can also highlight any um, potential design problems that I might face. Your documents will be made into articles, and your articles will be contained into a folio. But one of the design considerations you might want to think about is the different way that um, DPS works from traditional print um, layout design. And, and as much as, say for instance, if we have a look at this now, these are all designed as single pages, and there's a space between those pages, and in a traditional print environment, that's how that would look. However, if we have a look at what it might look like on the Adobe Content Viewer, we can see that it's all as one continuous document here. So it might be that you take advantage of, of, of that fluidness between the, the pages and, and the join up. And maybe um, you see here I've got a line that exists all the way down and all the way to the top again. So that's just something to think about when you're designing your documents. We'll talk about more about how we actually make the articles and um, folios later on. If an article contains more than one page, then the contents of that article can be viewed by scrolling vertically from top to bottom and bottom to top. 
you navigate from article to article horizontally and your article might contain one page or two pages, three pages, anything upwards. So there is no limit on the amount of pages in your articles. All your articles will be contained within a folio.